Hello everyone, in this feature update, we are going to discuss the enhancement incorporated in TDS Reversal Journal in Guinness's ERP. Before directly jumping into the ERP, let us first peek into the background and discuss the changes. Currently in Guinness's, users need to create the TDS Reversal entry manually for the debit note trace to the vendor. In TDS Reversal form, user inputs the TDS Reversal amount and system automatically calculates the taxable amount, which in general should match with the debit note amount. When debit note is raised for partial value of the purchase invoice, since the user is not allowed to input the fractional value in TDS reversal amount, in many cases, taxable amount does not match with the original debit note amount and this leads to a discrepancy while filing the TDS return. Let's try to understand the enhancement made with the help of an example. As you can see on your screen, I have divided the table into two parts, that is, pre-enhancement and post-enhancement. Let's talk about the pre-enhancement part first. Suppose a purchase invoice is raised worth Rs 50,000 and TDS rate applicable on it is 1%. Now a debit note is raised against the invoice worth Rs 10,550 and obviously the TDS rate applicable on it is 1% that is same as purchase invoice. Accordingly, the TDS reversal amount should be 1% of Rs 10,550 which comes to Rs 105.5. Now. A TDS reversal journal needs to be passed in the system in order to get the TDS reversed. While creating the TDS reversal journal for the debit note, user needs to input the TDS reversal amount manually and that to in a whole number. In this example, the user has input Rs 106 as TDS reversal amount and based on this, system has automatically calculated the taxable amount which in this example comes to Rs 10,600. Now as you can see, there is a difference of Rs 50 between taxable amount in TDS reversal journal and debit note, which will lead to discrepancy while filing the TDS return. Now let's talk about the post enhancement part. Nothing has changed in purchase invoice or debit note, the enhancement is made in TDS reversal journal. So we will use the same purchase invoice and debit note with same figures and see what has changed in TDS reversal journal. After this enhancement, the user will enter the taxable amount manually and the system will calculate the TDS reversal amount automatically. Due to this enhancement, the problem phase in pre-enhancement part is solved and there would be no difference and discrepancy while filing the TDS return. Let's just quickly jump into the system and see how the enhancement is getting handled in the UI. As you can see on your screen, according to the example, I have already made a purchase invoice of Rs 50,000 and a debit note is also raised worth Rs 10,550 against that invoice. As the debit note is raised, TDS also needs to be reversed in TDS reversal journal. Let's try to do the same. Here as you can see, user can now manually input the taxable amount as per the debit note and system will automatically calculate the TDS reversal amount leaving no scope for amount mismatch between taxable amount in TDS reversal journal and debit note. So this is it for the video. I hope this enhancement will help you to manage your TDS reversal in a better way. This video is brought to you by Genesis product team. In case you have any queries, please feel free to connect with Genesis support team. Thank you.